Today we're going to explore another male body shape, the triangle. Let's see how these men are shaped. Triangular shaped men have an ectomorph body classification, which is often a slender figure with narrow shoulder and chest, low fat mass, long neck and sloping shoulders. When they gain weight, the fat goes toward the abdomen, chest and face. This can look very unproportional because we are, go we are going to have all the fat up here and very slender legs. Also, this kind of body shape has a very hard time putting on muscles, just like the rectangular one. Anyway, long story short, here we have sloping shoulder and very small also, usually long limb, longer neck because with sloping shoulders is going to look longer anyway. The chest is narrower th than the hips, so usually the lower body part area is heavier than the upper part. For lower body area, I don't mean, I don't mean the legs, I mean uh, tights, butt and belly and hips. Let me show you some example of triangular male normal uh, weight and overweight. As you can see here, they are a little bit larger on the hips level and more narrower here on the chest and shoulder. This is another example. This is a triangular uh, female body shape and this is the male one. As you can see, he has more fat here on the belly, while the women have more inner, fuller inner tights and uh, bottom and hips. The men are different. They're going to have more fat on the abdomen and the hips. Here we have an example of overweight. As you can see, the face is actually very, very full and look at the difference whenever it loses weight. Look at the face especially. And this is a regular weight. And as you can see, the chest is not very muscular. It's, there is something, but not so much. Very hard for them to be muscular here because they don't have so much fat mass. So it's like the rectangle. It's gonna be very, very hard to be huge here. And now let's see how to dress this kind of body shape. In this case, we are going to use clothes to enlarge the upper part of the body and to minimize the lower parts of the body. So this means usually uh, lighter colors here and darker, co darker colors there. For example, it doesn't mean white and black. It could be gray and black, gray, I don't know, and blue or green, dark green and, no, lighter green and darker green on the pants. And it shouldn't be the same color. I mean, it can be, I don't know, uh, red here and purple trousers, t-shirts. They should be regular, not oversized, but not even uh, slim. They should be regular, wait, George Clooney here. This is kind of the t-shirt you should wear. Also polo, regular, straight. Also remember for regular weight, the horizontal stripes are going to give you more uh, muscles to enlarge this part. So you can wear horizontal stripes on your t-shirts. And also don't be afraid to wear a padded shoulder because you, as just like me, we don't have very big shoulders, so we need to create volume. As you can see, these are padded, I, I don't care. I look bigger now. So yeah, just go for the padded shoulders. Layers also works very well in giving you more volume, but also like shirts and vest, they're gonna give you more volume. As for coats, prefer something with a belt on the waistline, so just to create a waistline. Trousers and jeans, tapered one, a regular straight or even bootcut uh, actually are very good. Jackets, pockets here on the upper part and prefer the double breasted 
preferably because they're going to give you more volume here. Also, I recommend to use pretty much the same colors as your trousers to look more slimmer and taller. Doesn't mean black and black. It could be, as you can see, darker jeans and black boots, for example. Or as you can see here, it's burgundy and burgundy. Don't be afraid to wear patterns, designs or color blocks. I have more to say, but the time is almost over. So let's go check my website, thestyleleague.it and you can read more there. See you next time. Bye.